this article came my way and I posted it up on Twitter and I asked my followers, do you believe this or not? And pretty much everybody said, no, I don't believe this. So if you don't know, another art, another story came out involving the Malcolm Harsh case where now they're saying that the family confirmed that Malcolm Harsh did die by suicide by hanging himself in a tree by a rope. When I saw that, I said, I don't believe that for one second at all. I believe they got to the family in one of two ways, money or threat. Then that cast a shadow over the other cases as well. You know, with Robert Fuller and um, the man in New York. I think that you had one in Texas and I think it was another one in Tennessee. Because they are all casting the net of suicide over all of these cases. There's no way that all of these men are killing themselves by hanging themselves in a tree. Considering the history, like, let me just go ahead and read this. Because I'm getting frustrated. I really am. Malcolm Harsh, the black man found hanging from a tree near a library in Victorville, died from an apparent suicide, according to the family. In a statement released Friday, the family said Harsh took his own life. Najee Ali, a community activist and spokesman for Harsh's family, said in a statement that police showed the family, quote unquote, video evidence. And they put video evidence in quotations. As the investigation into the May 31st death of Harsh continued, detectives obtained surveillance video from a vacant building near where his body was discovered. The video confirmed the absence of foul play or did it. Well, in that case, if they have video, they need to make that public and let us see it. I think we should demand to see that video. And if they give any pushback, then we're going to know something is up. Because guess what? They either tamper with that video or they're hiding something. Detectives also met with Harsh's family members. The evidence from the case, including the surveillance video, was shown to the relatives per the request. Although there remains no sign of foul play, the forensic pathologist is waiting for toxicology reports assigning, before assigning the cause and manner of death. The family wants us to sincerely thank everyone for their support and prayers. And see, now that, they, that the family has come out with this, they could have easily killed that guy, and now we'll never know. Although, it, well, it'll, it won't go any further, I should say. Malcolm Harsh's sister, Harmony, said on her Facebook account that her brother was a loving person. He was caring, respectable, talented, loved his music. He was a son, brother, a dad, a grandfather, a friend, and he loved every single person like his family, she said. Harsh, who was homeless, was found hanging from a tree on the morning of May 31st near the city's library. Look at that. He was homeless. So no family could take him in like this. This story just keeps getting weirder and weirder to me. But notice that they're not saying that he was suicidal. That's the that's the key word right there. Suicidal. They don't say that this man had any kind of suicidal thoughts and they're probably going to test it to. Oh, he was homeless. Maybe he couldn't do it life anymore. It was getting the worst to him. He was at his wits end. And they're probably going to try to use that as the reason why he did it. Which I still don't believe. And he was homeless at that. He he was an easy target. On Monday, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department offered more details saying deputies were called to a homeless encampment regarding Harsh. The caller says she and her boyfriend later identified as Markham, Malcolm Harsh had been together during the morning, but she has since returned to her tent for a short period of time. She was alerted by others in the encampment that Mr. Harsh was found hanging from a tree and cut down. People in the encampment were performing CPR, attempting to revive Mr. Harsh. Upon arrival, deputies immediately took over and continued CPR. Emergency medical personnel arrived on the scene a short time later, and despite additional life-saving efforts, pronounced Mr. Harsh deceased. An autopsy was conducted, and officials said they saw no signs of foul play, but Harsh's family and others were skeptical and demanded an independent investigation. In a statement sent to the Victor Valley News, Harsh's family members in Ohio said they found it hard to accept that his death was a suicide. They said Harsh had recent conversations with his children about seeing them soon and that they, and that to those who knew him, he didn't seem depressed. See, that's the thing I'm saying right there. He didn't, they're, they're not saying he was suicidal. He was just homeless. 
That don't mean you're suicidal. Yeah, I, I can't read anymore. Listen, I do not believe for one second that this man committed suicide. They just wanted to be suicide, so there's no investigation to go any further. They'll just talk, chalk it up to a suicide, and they can just toss it to the side like they do with all other cases that line up in the same manner. No, you know, no disrespect to the family, but y'all shouldn't have said anything. Y'all should have said I or said that I don't believe this or stood firmly on your square because I truly believe they got to them. They either threatened them or they gave them money. And they must have given them a pretty big duffel bag if they offered them some kind of monetary whatever. Because I truly do not believe at all that this man went to a tree and hung himself. I don't believe it. And they said they had surveillance videos. We need to see those videos, the unedited version, preferably. Because it's some shady stuff going on. And I don't trust nobody right now when it comes to this.